That's not supposed to look like that. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, yeah, t today is a... Uh, I don't know where this episode will end. <laughs> um, so, I'm in the bean. We got some plates on her, so it's good. She's insured, she's ready to go. And uh, you remember in the last episode how it was clattering a little bit and then it stopped? Well, Friday night, me and wife decided, like, it's ready, so we're just going to go out for a rip. And I made it almost around the block and uh, got into it a little bit and then let off. And then it was just knocking like crazy. And I know I was hoping against hope that it wasn't a rod, but in my gut, I'm like, it's a rod. Like, something's messed up. So, pulled her back in the garage, was mad, it was warm, just left it, and did my, whatever I was going to do on Friday night. So now a couple days later, I'm in here and I'm uh, trying to get her sorted out, so I uh, dropped the oil, oil looked, looked pretty good, had a little bit of, uh, well, pretty much what you'd expect after breaking in fresh bearings, like, excuse me, a little bit of silver, and, you know, it looked pretty fine. Uh, so, dropped the pan. And this is pretty much what it's all. It's not supposed to look like that. Oh boys, that rod bolt isn't even tight. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Where's my ratchet? See you later. Alright, so we got a rod bolt that's not tight at all. And I know I torqued all these because I checked them twice. That one is not tight. Uh, I'm gonna grab a longer extension, I'll check the other ones. So they're all loose. <laughs> no. No. I'm betting I know what happened. I torqued these to the factory Honda spec for rod bolts. I followed their procedure in the Haynes. Oh, excuse me. Too much coffee. In the Haynes manual. And I thought of it after the first time it knocked. I'm like, I wonder if. These ARPs take a different uh, torque spec because these rods have ARP bolts. Now, do I pull the girdle and check the bearings or do I just torque them and send it? The oil pan actually. Uh, oh. Shit. 
All right. I'm pulling it. So, bearings on the girdle, gonna be the mains, don't look too bad, they look like they're just starting to break in, so that's, for me, I think that's fine, that one's got a little bit of wear on it, but it looks worse in the camera. So, we're gonna try to just put that back in, get away with that. Um, the factory torque spec for those for the connecting rod well that's nuts these are bolts but 23 foot pounds so i looked up the arp ones because these are arp 2000s found that um they are to measure but they're five sixteenths so I should have been at 26 foot pounds according to this um yeah so there's a few off a few off and they backed out pretty good uh if i would have ran it any longer i would have definitely grenaded stuff you could see where the rod bolt was rubbing in the girdle luckily it's aluminum these two these ones were still okay reasonably tight so uh, I think I'm just going to clean it up. Rod bearings don't look too bad. They're, they look like they broke in and then that's it. So as far as I can see right now, I think we're okay. Um, yeah, I'll just say um 1,400 more times and <laughs> clean stuff up. Put it back together, I guess. Clean out the oil pan. This, uh, I drained the, drained the oil. And it's like... It was nice and clean coming out, but it's pretty much what you would expect for breaking oil. It's not super silvery, but there's you know, there's a little bit in there, but it's about what you'd expect. So we will clean out the pan since it's off. We might as well have a nice, fresh, clean pan and uh, yeah, fill up the fill her up with oil, torque the rods to what they're supposed to be, put her back together, and see what we can do maybe we'll get a successful drive out of it yet i might as well show you the rod bearings while we're here so you don't have to take my word for it they look okay they all got a little bit uh marking on them right in the middle shaky hands yet too much coffee i think they got a little bit of wear on them which is to be expected but we're just gonna put it back together and give her sins i don't see anything as of yet that looks terrible um so yeah i'm not uh i guess i guess where do we go from here all right so now i've got Everything torqued up, everything is back together, tightened up, good. Hopefully the right torque specs. Um, I torqued them all to 26, all the rods. So, and factory is 23, uh, ARP called for 26, the, the post that I found. So hopefully that's the right one. Um, they are 5 sixteenths. I know the 3 8 ones were, I believe like 50 foot pounds, but I think these are 5 sixteenths. So we went with the 26. Uh, clean out the oil pan, torqued everything back up how it should be, uh, change the filter, change the oil, and honestly, this is going to be a first start. And we'll s <sighs> Fingers crossed, man. <laughs> it's so emotional. <laughs> All right, let's go.
So far so good, pulling good vacuum. Made a huge mess in here, I was hustling. Oh, I got oil leaking under there from somewhere. I right, check my filter. All right, so that big nasty oil leak, that ended up being a pan gasket. Uh, it just must have rolled over on itself a little bit, so it was just puking out everywhere. But now, it's all back together. And uh, I gotta get her off the jack stands, but I had it running, it's not clapping, it's not uh, leaking oil, so we might just try and take her out for a ride here. See if I can convince wife to come with me, film something. First official drive. Can you see me? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> see if it holds up for more than just a trip around the block. About at temperature. Ooh, choppy. Check over at the house. Um, Brad hoses 
check that timing, make sure it's good. Anyway, the uh, idle and uh, um, low end drivability is about what you would expect from the VTEC having them locked like that. There's choppy, but once you get into it a little bit, it's not bad. Get a little bit of load on it, it's fine. So, anyway, I think that's where we're going to call her for today. So, if you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up thingy. There's a lot of work. I had this thing ripped apart multiple times. So, I'm so cool with my glasses on. <laughs> anyway, if you made it this far, I really do appreciate you. Thanks for hanging out. And, uh, yeah, catch you on the next one.